so children i am going to explain today next important point that is lattice enthalpy or lattice energy so a uh, simply a uh, lattice means the bonds actually the amount of energy required to break a bond so it can be in opposite side also that when two ions they are joined together when the two ions are joined together or several ions are joined together to form a molecule then it is also called as lattice energy so actually lattice energy or lattice enthalpy uh, it is uh, basically or simply we call bond dissociation it is called as the bond it may be called as bond energy now it is technical term and so it is bond energy so bond energy can be of two types either it can be dissociation or it can be dissociation and the in association there is the release of energy energy is release and here in dissociation energy is required so bond energy covers completely so it is same initially when i was in your level or at your level you were having the bond energy now the name has been uh, changed to lattice enthalpy or lattice energy so simply it may be defined as the amount of energy required to break an ionic compound or an ionic molecule into its components into its components is called as lattice enthalpy so this is the train now as you know uh, in a cube when you move from top to bottom the atomic size and ionic size increase so this lattice energy train actually in all the properties we have to see the train so on moving from top to bottom in a group or moving from top to bottom in a group lattice enthalpy lattice enthalpy decreases because size increases i mean size increases so by effectiveness the uh, effect to uh, this uh, either release energy or gain energy because as the size is very large so it means the bond are bonded by weak force of attraction and here children in association energy is released in association energy is required so they are just in the same uh, magnitude just in the same amount with the opposite in sign now children next point which is very important is oxidation state so oxidation state what is the meaning of oxidation state actually oxidation state is nothing but the charge required or charge carried by an ion so it is defined as the charge carried charge carried by an ion charge carried by an ion is called as oxidation state so as you know it is group 13 so plus 3 plus 3 oxidation state plus 3 oxidation state is most important most important for all it is a feature it is a characteristic feature of the group 13 or any group having a particular number of electrons in the valence cell so here in this group what is the valence cell electronic configuration we say it is ns2 np1 so here it is plus 3 but on moving from top to bottom the 
higher of this is one point. So on moving from top to bottom, the higher oxidation state becomes less stable and lower oxidation state becomes more stable. And this is called as inner pair effect. So on moving, on moving down the group, on moving down the group, the higher oxidation state, higher oxidation state becomes less stable. High oxidation state becomes less stable and lower oxidation state, lower oxidation state becomes lower oxidation state becomes more stable. So this is the point. And why this one? It is due to inert pair effect. It is due to inert pair effect. Inert pair effect, it is in C. Actually, in this group or all the groups, the reluctance, reluctance means this is the valence cell configuration. And so the NS electrons, actually, if you see the valence cell configuration, so here we say it is NS2, NP1. So this electron pair, NS electrons, they do not take part, they do not take part in bond formation or we say that they are reluctant. NS electrons are unable to take part. They are not interested. They are not interested in participating in reaction. There are different factors you will see later on. So that's why plus three is exhibited, but on moving from top to bottom, this plus one. So here, four one, it is then aluminium, then it is gallium, then it is indium, last is thallium. So plus three, it is prominent here, it is also prominent here, but here, this, the Give it plus three and plus four, and out of this plus one is much more stronger than uh, this plus three. So this is very much important, and you have to keep in mind. And this is nothing but this is the oxidation state uh, and its uh, uh, variable name. Now next is very important reaction with air. So the members of group thirteen forms trioxides on combination with oxygen. There is formation of trioxide like B2O3. Al203. These are the trioxides. And how they are formed when the element is burned. Element is burned. This boron, two boron, plus here there is three or two. So here if you balance, so it will be four mean, and so uh, we have like this. So on burning, but similarly, aluminium. So, 4 aluminium plus 3 O2, same, so there will be 2 L2 O3. So, similarly, children, all the elements, all the elements, they uh, exhibit uh, same type of uh, reaction. Now, 
uh, you all must know you that air has nitrogen also air has nitrogen also so they react with the nitrogen also so members of boron family react with nitrogen also react with nitrogen to form corresponding nitrides corresponding corresponding nitrides corresponding nitrides what are nitrides so similarly like oxides hydrides so similarly nitrides are the compounds nitrides are the compounds formed by reaction between the nitrogen nitrogen and the concerned element like if, if we have uh, to take the boron take the boron so if boron plus nitrogen boron plus nitrogen so there will be boron nitride so you have to balance it this is boron nitride so similarly uh, they also form aluminium also forms aluminium also forms so similarly 2a plus uh, this n2 so 2al n aluminium nitride aluminium nitride this is aluminium nitride so these are the compounds formed when the element react with the nitrogen now children i am coming to a very important part properties of oxides because see uh, when the metals elements react with oxygen or air this one some oxide so here we have to see uh, first is d2o3 then there is air 2o3 then uh, ga2o3 then iron 2o3 and there is helium 2o3 this is one point but this is actually a very important point you must have a uh, lesson the word amphoteric in class 10 so amphoteric and you know acidic you know base so here this boron oxide it is acidic it is acidic in nature now these two are amphoteric amphoteric and these two are base so what we can say they are moving down the group the basic character basic character in present and acidic character decrease this is very important part this is trend this is called as trend but reason is why it is so actually it is a uh, due to the size you know when a substance will act as acid it will release the h ions you know it is able to release the h plus ions or hydrogen ions when it is basic it means it is have a tendency to release the oh ions so children listen very carefully here boron is the smallest boron is the smallest and as a result of this boron is very strongly attached to oxygen and if we dissolve into water if you dissolve into water then it will attract the water molecule very strongly so as a result of this when b2o3 b2o3 it is dissolved into water there is formation of b o h o plus this is boric acid this is it is having the oh 
it is having the oh it appears that it is basic but it is acidic actually and due to the side what is the reason and side of boron is the smallest boron has the smallest side so oh ion you know oh ion is attached attached the strongly what is it attached strongly you can say what is it attached strongly and only the is i is loss once again i repeat actually the st character basic character is explained on the basis of the size of the element so boron has a smaller size so boron oxide will attack the water molecule and very strong force of attraction will be there and so it will attract the oh ion and it will reach only the h ion now in case of aluminum and gallium oxide they are hypothetic because as you know on moving from top to bottom the atomic size increases so the size of aluminum ion and gallium ion and their oxides are moderate or intermediate or slightly larger so they are in such a position they are in such a position that they lose the oh ions and h ions in equal amount and that's why they are hypothetic in nature what is hypothetic nature means a substance substance capable of exhibiting sd can base both the properties once again i'm repeating on moving down the group atomic size and size increases so due to increase the atomic size the water molecule which has been added to this it is very not strongly attached with respect to oxide of boron and as a result these two have equal tendency equal tendency equal tendency to lose H plus and OH minus, and this is nothing but this is hypothetic in character. This character is called as hypothetic character. Now, on coming from these two, they are distinctly basic. Indium oxide and thallium oxide, they are distinctly basic. Why? Because they have larger size. This thallium has larger size. So, on moving down the group. they are unable to the water molecule is unable to be held together by strong force of attraction and as a result the oh ion is much more larger oh ion is much more larger than that of the h ion so h being is smaller h being is smaller so it will be attached it will be attached to the thallium and indium ions and the steel the oh ion will be released so that's why they are basic in nature so the basic character increases down the group indium oxide thallium oxide they are basic in nature because of the larger size they are unable to hold the larger hydroxide ion and so they have a strong tendency to attract or attach the hydrogen ion and as it only they lose the oh ion so this is the very important logic and point that on moving down the group the sd character decreases basic character increases and uh, so this is all about the uh, this sd strength basic strength and the trend in the boron